So it's a joyful anticipation. You know, we're 150 days, I think, away from priesthood now. Um, not that I'm counting. I just took candidacy. It's a big one. It's kind of like engagement. Like ever since I was four, I remember, you know, thinking like looking up at my pastor and being like, oh wow, you know, that, that could be something I can do, you know? And it, it was just like this overwhelming sense of like God stirring something inside of me. Kind of like in the military, I know people talk about in the military, there's a great brotherhood. And I'd say it's the same thing with the seminary. You know, there's this brotherhood and this bond from that common connection in our faith, in hoping to serve and please Christ, which is, of course, the highest goal for all of us. There's something beautiful about sacrificing your youth for this, you know, for the Lord. We're all there. We all want the same thing. They asked if I wanted to complete my priestly formation and become a priest for the Diocese of Columbus. And I got to say, I do. You know, like there's just this concrete reality of like, I'm in proximate formation for priesthood. And that implies that I'm going to have a family. Like, that's what the parish is. You know, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And there's a really beautiful phrase. It's the motto of the Carthusians. The cross stands as the world turns. Jesus Christ, the cross, our faith, is the one thing that remains constant in the midst of everything else changing. Positions, views, pol politics, whatever else. Jesus Christ remains the same, and he's the only goal we can really chase after. So that's why I do what I do.